Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome back to Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. This Copernicus Sentinel 2 image features Tunisia's capital, Tunis, in North Africa and highlights some of the country's important wetlands. Captured on December 15th of last year, the image shows part of the Mediterranean's Gulf of Tunis, which provides natural protection for this ancient city and busy port. The area has seen a series of settlements over the last 3,000 years, but arguably the most famous is Carthage, which now forms a suburb to the northeast of the center of Tunis. While the image offers sharp contrast between the city's urban environment and surrounding hills and agricultural fields, it also depicts several bodies of water, which are protected under the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands. World Wetlands Day is celebrated every year on February 2nd. And with this year's theme being Wetlands for a Sustainable Urban Future, this image of Tunis highlights how important these wetlands are to the city. There are seven Ramsar sites around Tunis, five of which are visible in this image. Lake Tunis can be seen close to the coast and features a causeway. It is a brackish lagoon surrounded by intertidal marshes. It offers good nesting grounds for several species of bird and wintering grounds for species such as the greater flamingo. Mammals include rodents and bats, and it is an important source of food, a spawning ground, and a nursery for several fish species. The main human activity carried out is fishing, regulated according to its protected status. The shallow lake of Sebha Zijumi is west of Lake Tunis and is one of the largest water reservoirs, protecting the capital from floods. Unlike other Sebhas or salt lakes in the area, Zijumi retains some water all year and is therefore particularly important for wildlife in the summer when other Sebhas dry up. The smaller protected lakes of Gadir El Gola and Baraj Moragia can be seen further west on the outskirts of the city. To the north of the city lies Sebha Ariana, which loses much of its water in the summer. If we look at the same area in an image captured on August 29th, we can clearly see the reduced amount of water during this period. This is not the only difference. Note the drastic change in color across the image from green to brown between the winter and summer months. Through its Globe Wetland Africa project, ESA works in partnership with the Ramsar Secretariat to use information from satellites to help conserve and manage vulnerable wetlands such as these. And that wraps up this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that to learn more about space or about our planet, you can visit our website at www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV studios, have a great day.